Hi, this is Joe. Today, I'm going to talk about being insecure in a relationship. So, is it a bad or good thing? Of course, it's a bad thing. Lah. In my past 19 years of relationship, I'll fail. Huh? <laughs> being insecure was never good. And uh, it is so bad that it can make you a toxic person. I have become a very toxic person. And you know what? Being toxic, it led me to becoming a person who had very unhealthy behaviors. So what are the behaviors? Uh, there are about five of them I will share with you. Uh, in short, they, these five behaviors that you do not want in a relationship, relationship is that being untrusting or suspicious, um, also being needy, being possessive, uh, jealous, and also wanting approval or validation from him. So let's talk about being untrusting or suspicious. Uh, I remember in one of my past relationships, the longest one, the 10 years one, I had been very suspicious. Um, I, because I suspected something that he did, uh, so I started to check on his cell phone, his emails, his internet browser, the history one, and when I saw that he has browsed some photos of uh, females, especially his colleagues, so I got very annoyed, very angry. Uh, it, it was frustrating because I couldn't ask him, but at one point I couldn't stand anymore, so I asked him, so guess what? He got angrier and he was defensive. So I ended up, it, there was explosion, so I don't have to explain more. Um, in terms of possessiveness, okay, I have this one example from a guy friend. His wife was so possessive, it was just dinner with our bosses. Uh, a few times, in fact, I think two or three times, she somehow would text him or call him and say that she was ill. And guess what? He had to go home to her. Come on, it's just a team dinner. Why can't you let your guy come out and have fun for one or two hours? So if you do this so often, guess what? Your guy is going to have fun without you one day. So don't do that. Neediness. Okay, I have one guy, one of my exes, he was so needy. I think he's like a koala bear clinging onto me. He would text me morning, day and night, even when I'm working. Uh, he said that, oh, I, I keep thinking about you, but the problem is, doesn't he have a life? Uh, come on, I have a life of my own. So I felt like I was under monitor of a CCTV or satellite. So it's so suffocating. So you know at the end of the story, the relationship didn't turn out well. Okay, um, if you want to know why we feel insecure in a relationship or how to overcome in being insecure in a relationship, give me your email in the comment. I'll be glad to send you. And before I leave, I'm going to leave you with one tip. How do you overcome being insecure in a relationship? It's very simple. Just drop the fantasy. Live in reality. Um, don't compare your guy with your ideal prince charming, your fantasy kind because you will be thinking and asking oh what why can't he do this why isn't he doing this uh, you know a lot, a lot of questions will be running in your mind and you will hardly be satisfied so don't fantasize lah. just enjoy the moment if you think he uh, cheats on you or if you suspect that he misbehaves very simple just leave now move on and next so I wish you all the best. I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye.